morning guys so it's bright and early um, again this morning but um, I just wanted to touch base with you following yesterday's announcement um, give you an update on what we're doing talk through what our plan is um, for the next week or two and really just see how we're all doing so I'm going to start with a little bit of a a crazy little uh, speech just to let you all know my opinion on things. Um, I, I'm not political in any way, shape or form. Um, when making decisions um, for the business, I take all of them really, really seriously. I care a huge amount about my clients and my staff. Um, it's not, nothing's done out of selfishness. Um, so I know that we all think differently about what should and shouldn't be happening now. Um, but this is how I see it, not a political explanation at all. But earlier uh, this year, Jonathan and I had to sit and make a decision on what food we wanted for our wedding. This is an extremely hard decision. Anybody that's been in this position will understand that choosing one menu for 150 people is an impossible task. There is always the, oh, well, my mum will eat this, your mum won't eat that, Uncle Frank will eat this, Uncle Dave won't eat that. Um, and we spent a long time going over it and then came to the realisation, not going to please everybody. So, We've got different elements to the dinner so that people can pick the bits they like, leave the bits that they don't like. And in this horrible, horrible situation, it's the only way I can rationalise what decisions I have to make and what horrible decisions um, other people are having to make. And I just want to stress how understanding I am that not everybody's going to like the decision that's made but you as an individual have just got to take what you believe strongly in what you know you can do um, and do that's right for you your family your friends take little bits um, of advice you don't have to do it all uh, you don't have to agree with everything that everyone's saying um, but as long as we all use our common sense, it's not a time to go out and start having a party. It's not a time to all gather around, but I am supportive that there is a reason why business needs to get going. There's a reason why people are really, really worried about their businesses. Um, I, for one, have got a huge responsibility. In my opinion, I know compared to a lot of other things, it's not huge. Um, but I have a huge responsibility to not only my staff, who I want to walk back into jobs that are safe and secure. Um, they've got mortgages to pay, families to feed, and I've got to make sure that there is a business there for them to come back to. Um, but I also, I deal with so many people and there's such a knock-on effect that, um, you know, just from people that do EPCs that need jobs, people that do maintenance on our properties that need jobs, solicitors, surveyors, removal men. Um, sorry, my camera works terrible today. Um, there's a, a lot of people that are relying on industry being able to keep going. And um, I'm hoping that the little bits that we can do safely will help a lot of people out in that sense. I think also the thing that I just want to remind everybody, which it's not always black and white, is just talking from a state agency, my industry, um, there's a hundred reasons why people need to move house. Um, and I know that not everybody can see it clearly, but we've been having to deal with and speak to people who who need to move because they're key workers and they're living with vulnerable people that because of illness, they need to move out of the homes they're currently in. Um, there's domestic issues, there's financial issues. Um, there's reasons people need to move because they need to move because of work. Um, so 
that's why our lines have been open and that's why we've been trying to help people um obviously now we have a new plan so just to let you all know that over the next week or two a couple of us may be going in and out of the office uh, there's legitimate reasons for this um so if you see us there don't be alarmed but i just want to reassure you that we're not opening uh, the offices to the general public so if you need to contact us the best way is still by telephone um, or by email or again we do have social media um, avenues that you can contact us that way so very much still the safest way for you to get in touch with us um, but we are going to start opening up um, doing appointments predominantly on empty properties initially um, so we're putting measures in place to make sure that it's safe to do this little robin there I don't know whether you can see it I've just gone silent for a moment while I walk past people morning um, sorry I didn't want to catch them on film um, so yeah we're putting measures in place to make sure that we can open some properties up where it's safe to do so so um we're literally going to go in early and uh, make sure all the doors are open and then we're going to step out of the property so if somebody feels comfortable they can enter have a little look around on their own we're very much working with our clients on this and it's obviously all individual uh, preference so again please be understanding um, there's lots of people out there that don't want people going into their houses empty or not um, but obviously understandably if they're living there so we're going to make sure that they are the ones that are making the decisions what they're comfortable with what they feel safe doing um, and we're just going to try and support them wherever we can there are going to be limited appointments available because I am the only one that is going to be going out and doing them I'm not prepared under any circumstances to put my staff in a difficult position um, so it will just be myself and what I'm trying to do is only go to one or two properties during the day ideally one obviously um, and do it at the end of the day which means um, I can go straight home get straight in a shower take my clothes off uh, put them in the washing machine, do all the things that we need to do to make sure that me and my family are safe um, and I'm not putting anybody else in any difficult position. So um, we are going to try and open up a little bit um, from the side of appointments. So do contact us. We will liaise with you. As I say, it's all down to client's preference. Um, so every decision that's made will be done so um, with the client of what's best for them. Um, I can only repeat to you um, that you've been truly amazing I'm so so grateful um, for everybody's understanding all our customers that have bared with me whilst I've been on a very very stressful journey over the last six weeks um, trying to keep things afloat pick up the phone at every hour um, and be there for you things hopefully are getting easier now um, it's really good news to see that the hard work that everyone's put in is now having a positive impact so we're very very positive we're very keen to be able to find ways to move forward safely protect you all and to be able to do the best job we possibly can so i can only emphasize again in these times please please think of your local businesses we all need your support more than ever um so if you are thinking about selling renting please get in touch um office number the best one to catch us on at the moment is scammers up 01484 443893 just let you have a little look at these gorgeous woods um all the bluebells i've absolutely loved being out when they've been out um, so stay safe, remember 
not everybody's going to share your opinion but if we're all kind to each other we're all understanding and we all work together here yeah, there is a way through this so hopefully we'll have more positive news for you over the coming weeks um so stay in touch thanks guys bye